Good morning, everyone. God is shaking all of creation this Monday, February 17th, 2014. I'm going to bring some words of encouragement to the bride, the Philadelphia Church today. I'm also going to bring a warning. Now, let me ask all of you in the comment section below, did you notice last night a blood red moon in the night sky? I know we are waiting on the back-to-back -back Blood Moon Tetrads, 2014 and 2015. But did you notice in the night sky last night a bright blood red moon? One more thing. It's getting daylight a lot sooner now. I got up this morning very early, 7 o'clock a.m. It was daylight. The sun was shining. And there was a beautiful, beautiful red, red hue in the morning sky. He's coming for his church. He's coming quickly. Now, I live in mid-Michigan. And starting this afternoon and all night long until tomorrow, another, another snowstorm is headed this direction. A lot of events are happening and unfolding quickly around the world with end time Bible prophecy. Snowstorms, frigid Arctic temperatures, ice storms, snowing in the south, cold, floods in the United Kingdom, earthquakes around the world. Let me bring you some encouragement. Before I bring you a warning this morning, from the book of Hosea, Hosea chapter 6. Come, and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Let me go over this one more time. Come, bride, Philadelphia Church, and let us return unto Yahweh, the Lord. Let's stop chasing and obsessing with signs, with asteroids, with cataclysmic, apocalyptic events. Be very careful what we seek from Yahweh, the living God. Be very careful what we ask for. We may just get what we have asked and what we are seeking. The bride is not ready. The Philadelphia church, many are just not ready. Have not come out of the ways of the world. Have not come out of this material world. And they seek their own escape. They seek their own rapture. They, have, they are obsessed with comets, meteorites, fireballs. Be careful what you ask for because God is shaking the very foundations. God is shaking all of creation today. For he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. And the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Hosea chapter 6. The church today. The bride. Is not ready. Not all are ready. Not all are seeking him. Not all are seeking his face. They're seeking after a sign. I truly believe before the tribulation begins, he's going to shake the very foundations of all of creation. I truly feel that he needs to wake up the bride. The bridegroom has tarried and tarried, and we have little strength, but we that have kept the patience of his word will escape all the things that are to come upon this whole earth. But many today, if that trumpet sounded today, many are not ready. 
they're caught up in the material things of this world they're looking and searching for a sign and it may just take that to shake the very foundations of the bride it may take the hand of the living God to bring swift swift judgment upon the churches today that have fallen away that are allowing same-sex marriage into the church homosexuality running rampant I feel throughout my very being that the rapture of the church is at hand and before tribulation the living God is going to shake up the church shake up the bride and shake some sense into the bride to quit following these apocalyptic signs it may just take that it may take him picking up a rock and hurling it at the earth it may take a great great woe to wake up the church of Jesus Christ today church come back to your first love come back to your first love that trumpet's gonna sound we're in 2014 time is running out we can see the signs we were told to watch for the signs we see them all around us exploding on the world stage the next major event before the rapture I truly believe will be a great great woe to fall upon this earth I can feel I can sense I can see the hand of God hurling a great rock on this earth to shake the church of Jesus Christ up before the rapture to bring you back to your senses. I love you all. Leave me comments.